Yo, what up, YouTube? My name's Mike. I go by DJ Access, and I had quite the day yesterday uh, with regards to weddings. And if you've been DJing weddings long enough, you're going to have a day like this where everything's going to go wrong, and it's really going to test what processes you have in place in case of emergencies to make sure that you can still uh, do a great job at the event, get there as close to on time as possible, and all that. So today's topic is going to be all about emergencies, fail-safes, and how to overcome them. Uh, if you find this video helpful or interesting, always leave a like. It really, really helps with the algorithm. That's why every content creator talks about it. Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, performances, DJ-related topic discussions, and all that stuff. And I want to get right into the video. So it started... I realized around, I usually leave for my weddings, uh, this one was out of town in Cleveland, which is about two hours away from me, so uh, typically on a normal day, I'll get to the gig about 90 minutes early, that usually gives me enough time to do my hour setup, 45 minutes if I'm moving really quickly, uh, and then have my half hour um, to kind of prepare, troubleshoot, whatever I need to do, um, and just to make sure that I have everything that I need. So on out-of-town gigs, I get there two hours early. That just accounts for traffic, um, you know, stops, anything that might happen on the way up there. Uh, if I need to pick up something at a store nearby, that's happened in the past. But uh, yeah, two hours, and usually I'm just sitting around for 45 minutes uh, waiting for the party to get started. Anyway. Uh, it's around, I, I'm, I'm supposed to leave at 2, it's around uh, noon, and I realized I forgot to charge uh, all of my lights, so I went into my van to uh, plug in um, the thing that charges all my lights, like, in my van, right? So I did that, that's already, like, okay, this is not usual, I'm usually pretty on top of that stuff. So uh, I come back to the van around 2, and uh, I go to start it, and I'm getting that that everyone hates to hear. So I'm like, oh man, what did I do? And I realized that when I got into the van or when I got out of the van, I must've flipped the, uh, the high beams. And so I had no battery. So now I'm like, all right, how do I go do this wedding without my van? So I started to go online to try to see if I can jump it. I have jumper cables and all that, but the way the Ford Transit Connects battery sits, it's really, really underneath there. And I didn't want to, uh, waste time on that because I'm already like right now the clock is ticking. I'm already late. So I decided I have a backup system, right? So I have a system that has two 18s, uh, two 12s um, on a stack with two or four intelligent lights and then two uh, Freedom, uh, Chave Freedom sticks behind me. And that's pretty much uh, the setup. Yeah, the four intelligent lights, the sticks. Oh, and then the 12 up lights, obviously. So uh, I moved the 12 up lights into my Honda Civic hatch. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. But um, I moved those hub lights into my Honda Civic hatch. I got my laptop. I got my clothes. And I moved it into my Civic where I have a backup system waiting, which is two 12-inch subwoofers. Uh, tops, they're basically like the Evolve 50. These are RFCF Evox 8s, if you guys know them well. And I uh, moved that into my Civic, and I got on the road. So I'm about a half an hour behind at this point, and I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, I still got what I need. You know, it's not the setup that I wanted to bring, my big fancy setup, but uh, you know, I'm gonna be at the gig on time, and I'm gonna be able to perform and do a great job, right? And and you know, no one really knows what I bring to my weddings. Uh, it's just kind of whatever I need to bring, and that's that's why I don't have that in my contract. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, so I'm on the way to the road about, you know, 20 minutes outside of Columbus, boom, traffic. So there was some kind of accident, car flipped over, burning, you know, fire trucks, 10 police cars, all that stuff. So I'm just sitting, stopped in traffic. I'm sitting for about a half hour. So now I'm about an hour behind and I'm still, uh, call it an hour and away from my location. Um, one tip I will say, don't go... I know you want to get there quickly, but don't go too fast, right? Because the last thing you want to do is get pulled over. Now that's cutting into your profits. Um, depending on how fast you normally drive, that could be talking about court now. And uh, you don't want to make yourself more late. So five, nine miles per hour over is my suggestion. Uh, well, my suggestion is drive the speed limit. But if you're late and you need to get there, uh, five to nine miles per hour over, um, you may, should make it so that you're not getting pulled over and making yourself even more late. So now uh, I'm... Uh, about an hour behind. Like once I get to the venue, I have about an hour. Well, my gas tank starts to run low. <laughs> so I, uh, thanks to Waze, I estimated that I should have about five miles left in my tank by the time I get to the gig. And uh, so I'm running on E. I've been backed up in traffic. Uh, you know, I forgot to charge my lights, which uh, ended up not being a huge issue. Uh, but I'm going up here going, oh man, it's about to be a day. 
Uh, got to the venue, got set up super, super fast. Still had about 15 minutes extra to just kick it um, and, and kind of tour the venue, get to know people, all that stuff. And then we had a great wedding. It was uh, African couples, so I got to play a lot of Afro beats. They gave me a lot of music that I didn't have that I added to my library. Great party from start to finish. Um, played some clubby hip hop at the end. And wow, just a really fun party. Great speeches. Um, and yeah. Uh, really, once I got to the gig, everything went smoothly, but that's only because I have fail safes in place, right? So car battery breaks down. Okay, I have a backup vehicle. Now, I understand most people don't have access to a backup vehicle, but you can start to think, these videos can start to help you think about, okay, what would I do in that situation? Where is my nearest rental car place? How long would it take me to Uber there? Okay, it takes me 20 minutes to Uber there, probably another 20 minutes to get the car. So I need to leave myself 40 minutes if I don't have a backup vehicle um, so where I can go grab a rental, um, put my equipment in it, and maybe even an hour because go put my equipment in it and then be off to the gig. Um, what happens if you hit traffic? Well, I've already factored in that. I usually get to the gig an hour and a half early. That factors in a half an hour of troubleshooting. And now if I'm going out of town, I factor in another half hour for traffic and other things. So um, there was another fail safe. And then as far as my lighting goes, when I forgot to charge them, I do have a battery pack. It's also um, ironically doubles as my jumper that I can plug in the lights as I'm on the way to the gig. You know, I get to the gig early. Do the lights have to be on right away? No. So I have an hour and a half there where I could charge the lights as well and hopefully get me through my six hours of the gig. Uh, let's see what else I can talk about. Definitely leave some um, questions in the comments. I want to know what fail safes you have. I want to know maybe uh, a tricky gig that you had. How'd you get out of it or what'd you have to do? But um, videos like this and, and really thinking about your process and what you have available to you will help you because uh, a lot of other DJs may not have made it to the gig on time. Uh, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's, you know, three, one of them was my fault, but that's three things. Well, I guess two of them are my fault, but uh, that's three things that you know are you, you don't see those things coming and we were still able to get to the gig uh, albeit late but set up and ready to go on time uh, and still be able to perform uh, to the best of my ability so again uh, if you want to see more videos like this you know no good terrible very bad days and all that let me know uh, share what you have in the comments like the video if you found something helpful and uh, don't and feel free to subscribe DJ Access signing off peace